Hello, welcome back to the farm. It's another windy day, but uh, grateful for the wind today because it has gotten warm. It's like 85, 88 degrees, something like that. Turned off summertime, just boom, overnight. And uh, checking on garden spot, looking good. Birds are looking good. The sweet potatoes getting a little wilty. Had to get them some more water this evening. Strawberries are looking good. A couple of red ones there. Yep. And uh, potatoes, haven't seen them pop yet, but shouldn't be long. Everything else seems to be doing pretty good. Got uh, just a few more things to get in the ground on the garden spot. Got some more tomatoes that we need to get in. So probably going to be working on that tomorrow. Today uh, we've got uh, kind of a priority thing. It's time for our new girls that we picked up at the sale. Time to get them moved out of confinement. And uh, we've got a front pasture up here because uh, the days are getting warm. So the cooler season grasses that we have up there are not going to maintain very long if uh, if we don't get them moved up there to take advantage of the grays. So, you here. For some reason he has thought it was a good idea to push up in there. Thank you. Now what have they torn up? Oh, they tear up as much stuff as everybody else. I said just about. All right. Got to get the sledge, fence tool. I think that's going to do it. Fence tool, belt, and sledge. So anyway, after we get the uh, fences a bit secured over there, mainly to keep the goats somewhere kind of sort of where they belong instead of thinking they have run to the whole place and uh, we'll set up a little catch pen in the back for the uh, for the new girls back there once we do that we'll catch them up we just need to you know write down tag numbers uh, approximate age just whatever information uh, sort out the uh, lambs uh, they're pretty much weaning age and then we'll hook up the trailer right here and we'll run them from the catch pen onto the trailer and uh, we'll trailer them over to the uh, other pasture where we want to move them to. Okay, so basically we need to get this pulled up, okay, tightened up there in a uh, probably another post least here try to tighten that up a little bit at least get a post there at the time we did this fence money was horribly tight so we didn't get post in here near as often as we should have go back and hit one in between each one This grass, look at that. Yeah, that's a pretty sight. That over there, that just never does good on early grass. Really doesn't, never has. Need to uh, get it fertilized and get uh, seed planted like we did over here. That would help a whole lot.
All right, see that's looking better already. Tightening that up down there kind of help pull this a little bit tighter here. What I'm going to do is this top wire has these little niches in it anyway. That's kind of a reliever so that if something pushes on it, it'll stretch a lot further before it breaks. And uh, so, unfortunately, the goats have pushed and pulled and dug on it enough that uh, it's kind of pulled some of those out and that's what's making it sag bad in needing the extra post so I'll uh, when I get back from lunch I'll continue that process to get this up a little bit better tighten it up but still give it those uh, those little niches for expansion something pushes on it if we were happen to put the cows out here or over on this side then it'll have just that little expansion for them to push if they do without it breaking mm -hmm. Well, so put in about three and a half hours work and uh, looks a lot better, a lot tighter, a lot straighter, a lot tighter. So did well, it pulled together real good once we kind of got the first couple done. So I think that'll work pretty well. We could have untied the clips we could have unclipped a couple of these older posts and uh, redrove those and pulled them tight again but I think that's going to work well we got that done and uh, started working on another section that uh, really needed some work we uh, had a spot there we had a uh, H kind of come apart on us actually quite some time ago but we uh, kind of fixed it the best we could right then and you know it's something like if you're not faced with it every day then sometimes you kind of forget that there's an issue there until you uh, start having a worse issue yeah. It fixes gate too. Well, hello. Welcome back to the farm. We are on our next project. Well, actually, a continuation of our last project. We weren't able to get the girls moved yesterday uh, after working on the fences. Didn't quite get the fence finished. 
uh, time constraints and also weather. It was so blooming hot yesterday. Uh, just compared to what we've been used to when you go from 72, 73 degrees to 88 degrees overnight and humidity was high. Had a good rain last night, so that's that's always good. But uh, anyway, I've got some wire together. I'm going to go over, try to finish the the uh, gate portion there. The problem that we had there is the post had pulled in. We've got a lot of H's that need to be replaced. And it allowed the uh, gate or the uh, fence to sag where they had pulled in. So we took to come along, put it between the two posts on the gate post and pulled them up to tighten up that fence. So I had to go get some wire together and so that I could go across the top because I rarely, well, never drive through it because it's not big enough, rarely even walk through it. So it's not going to be an issue with that being at the top of the post uh, just to kind of hold those posts together so I can take that come along off and use it to actually pull the fence run that we're going to be working on today. So to self, never put two loose bundles of wire in the truck together at the same time. Just a reminder. Got it hooked up, so we'll get down in just a minute, start getting those girls written up, and get them moved. Didn't get any video of the load because it actually went very quickly, very well. <coughs> went in, wrote down tag numbers, ages, approximate ages, <coughs> and now the girls are going to be moving to their new home for a little bit. I think uh, Avery's a bit disappointed because <coughs> he just figured out that... Uh, the girls wasn't coming over here too. As deep as that grass is, they ought to be happy for a while. <laughs> 